back to the Falcon Lady. Today we are going to learn how to make some equipment, or more specifically, I am, and Joe's gonna teach me. So today we are going to be covering anklets, yep. because somebody who needs them. Pfeiffer needs Pfeiffer. them. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer needs new anklets anyway, yeah. so uh, we may as well get them ready for him. Yeah. The trick here is that I'm going to be using grommets that are a little bit bigger than the ones I wanna use for him, just for demonstration purposes. We're not gonna put the grommets right through, but I'm gonna show you the process. Let's make some anklets. <laughs> okay. So first things first, with the with the leather. Now this is kangaroo leather. All all materials, be them fabric or leathers, they've got what's called a bias, right? So that means that in one direction they're particularly stretchy than in another, right? And the first thing you want to do with your leather is you want to make sure, okay, which way is stretching? Because I don't want to cut with the stretch. If it stretches, mm -hmm. then it's it becomes a liability, particularly with anklets, because the last thing you want is them being able to get a, a, a talon stuck through there, or worse, getting their, their feet right out, because they've stretched so much and you haven't noticed for whatever reason. So the first thing you're doing is you can see, okay. if I pull in this direction, mm -hmm. so if you pull this way on an angle, you can see it stretch, right? Yeah. But if Leah switches her hands so that they're apart, she can feel the difference, yeah. that it's resisting her, Okay. Cool. right? So that's what we want to do first. Now, Pfeiffer's just a little fellow, and so we don't need uh, anklets that are as large as Scirocco and Halo or even Mojave you're wearing. But a, a nickel is a bit too small, and quarter is probably going to be just about right. If um, you're in the UK, don't use that's your right. quarters because well, they'll be different. In the UK, you're probably <laughs> using a, um, a one pence coin. Ah. There I think go. they're they're about the, the size of a quarter. Yeah. And American quarters are the same about size. About the same size as yeah. a Canadian quarter. Okay. So what I kind of do is I sort of think about, okay, his leg is maybe just a little bit bigger than that. Um, so how big around do I want it to be, right? Mm -hmm. While still giving me a bit of length. So I'm taking the quarter, giving myself a distance, okay. And then wrapping it round. Mm -hmm. and then giving myself a little extra. So okay. this length in here is too short. Right. So like it or, or not, I've got to come out here. Mm -hmm. right? Now again, this is a bit stretchy, but that is not. So we'll snuggle right up against the edge here when we eventually do cut. Okay. All right. So if that's where the end of that quarter is, mm -hmm. right? So basically making like, we're drawing out two, I'm sorry. Two quarters and, some and then stretching in between. That's them. right. That's and we're, we're accommodating together. the fact that, okay, his leg has to fit in there somewhere. Right. right? <laughs> so, cool. so there's the mark at the edge of where the quarter would have been. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and it's a little fiddly. You don't want to sort of fudge this, guys. You, you know, take your time. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do any job, my Nana was fond of saying, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing right. <laughs> so I often yeah. hear her in my head when I'm starting to get a little frustrated and I feel like I should be going faster. It's like, no, no, I shouldn't. Okay. Oh, hang on. Let's just do that again. So I'm just giving myself something to keep in mind. See how mm -hmm. I'm keeping away from that edge this there. little edge here. Okay. So take my pen again. roll over and now I'm not going to be running afoul of that mm -hmm. okay so how big do I really want this to be well basically I'm gonna want this to curve around this way mm -hmm. right okay right so that's the back side of our of our anklet. That's on one end. Okay. And then just sort of draw that to the top. And I've got the uh, ruler flipped over, guys, because I don't really need to see this precise measurement just right now. I just need to get the shape more than anything. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So. Now, what I can sort of think about is, okay, how, how big is his little leg? Right? Mm -hmm. so that, and I, because you remember, you want 
some room behind his leg that isn't going to sort of cinch the thing right against the back of his leg. You don't want it so tight that it, you can barely get it on when you use the grommet setters, right? Mm -hmm. You want a little bit of room, uh, cause it, and it is going to stretch. It is going to accommodate itself very, in a very short order, but you're, you're just sort of keeping in mind, okay, where, where's his leg? How big round do I want this to be? And I'm kind of thinking, as we think about this guy, Mm -hmm. that we're probably looking at something like, you know, and I can always change this, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, nothing's sort of set in stone. Okay. Um, I can sort of go, okay, is that going to work? And if it does, and that'll be from the back to the back of that one, it's going to be about eight centimeters, so roughly three and a half inches mm -hmm. and change. And then I just watch when I bring these two lines together, I just watch how much pinch I've actually got. How much room do I actually have? And you can see, so can we see down inside there? There's a little bit of a gap because his legs are just a little bigger than this pen is. So I've got to be accommodating that in my mind as well, mm -hmm. right? I don't want them sort of hanging off of him, but I don't want them so tight that they're constricting his legs either. Okay, so that looks to me from experience and, and where those lines are coming together, that looks to me like it's gonna be a good fit. It might be just a hair snug, so I can be- A little more generous. A little more generous and come out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because, Worst case scenario, they're they're a perfect fit. They stretch a bit. They get a little too stretched out of shape. Maybe they only last me a couple of months instead of three and a half, right? I try to change them several times a year, minimum twice, minimum, mm -hmm. okay? Right, so with that as my new mark, mm -hmm. right, what I then do is just trace out the back of that. All right, cool. so we can see the rough shape of the anklet. So then I'm just gonna push down really hard on this metal leather, uh, this metal ruler. Okay. Metal leather. And in one go, I've got it. Right. So then, uh, I can do this one too. I may as well since I'm here. Okay. All right. Now, I mean, the truth is that, and I'm going to encourage Leah to do this for brevity. Um, she can cheat this. She can use this anklet once it's been verified for mm -hmm. size and she can literally just trace around it mm -hmm. because at some point in the future if she's got her own bird and I'm not available to, to walk her through it or she's forgotten it's been too long, you know, the, she goes, well, okay, I know if I just do one, I can just trace it, mm -hmm. right? And then just cut really close so that I make sure that one isn't significantly fatter than the other. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. right. So once I've got that, and I in come my, my scissors. You can cut with a straight edge if you're really good with it. Um, I have cut with a straight edge. Uh, but I mean, if you've got a good pair of, of tough scissors like this, they can go through leather without any, any difficulty. And I think I did mention, but I'll mention it again, I like the middle weight leather and the heavy weight leather. Mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking, I use the middle. Okay. So then once I've got it cut free, what I can do now is I can put these back little tongues together, mm -hmm. right? And you can see I've got, you know, a decent gap there. It's not so big he's going to be able to draw his leg through that, right? 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 He's not going to be able to draw his legs through that. Yeah. Not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But it's amply large enough that it's not going to be cinched really super tight to his leg. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll take my little quarter and put it to the edge. And you can snuggle it right up to the spot above it, right? So it's literally okay. kissing oh, okay. right there. Yeah. Right? So that now all I've got as, as waste is this little piece of triangle. Right there. Okay, cool.
Now we're gonna take your scissors okay. and we'll just cut away the excess. The there. excess. Okay. like this where you've got these little edges you can just sort of snip, snip them. them off. Okay. The other thing you're keeping in mind is the smooth side of the leather is going to go against their leg. Okay. This is not hard to remember. <laughs> Even having said that, early days I have screwed it up in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it the end of the world? No, but it is going to rub. So I like to cut from the smooth side. I'll, you know, always keeping the smooth side toward me because I'm thinking smooth side in. Right? Mm -hmm. So now, one of the things that I'm keeping in mind when I'm thinking about putting this on his leg is I want to be near the edge of the anklet, mm -hmm. right? So I've got probably about three millimeters there, okay. right? From the end of the grommet to the edge of the leather. Okay. Right? So we don't want it right up against here. Right, mm -hmm. we want it in just a little bit. I could probably be a little closer than I was, right? So then, I can take a pen and just trace a hole. Okay. Right, and then I can check it by flipping it over once I've got that. And then I can just retrace and give myself a really good. Yeah. Right? And then I do this. I'm leaving a mark right in the leather Mm -hmm. So that when I use my leather punch, I know exactly where I'm going, okay. right? Right? Mm -hmm. So then, same thing again, what I'm going to do... So then I got, I've got this rough shaped hole, okay. right? It helps me to cheat and remember, you're mm -hmm. putting it right up so it's nice and level. I can feel that they're right up against each other. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that it's not perfect. Because yeah. it just gives me a guide. I've got my line cut around. Every couple of millimeters apart. Just firefly down. Just, it doesn't have to be a long cut, guys. Right? You can see I'm only, only going in just enough to cut into the leather. Right? And why am I doing this? Well, within a day or two of putting new anklets on your feathered one, this is going to roll away from his leg or her leg, right? Creating a cuff, mm -hmm. in essence, a very small cuff. And it stops the edge of the leather wearing away on their leg. Mm -hmm. And I do it top and bottom. Some people only do it on one side. They usually do it on the top. Uh, I've seen some people that do it just on the bottom. Both. You're not cutting so deeply into the leather that you're compromising the, its, in, its integrity, mm -hmm. its structural, its strength. Um, Everybody's it, had like brand new leather shoes and they, it just, just rubs all the time. Yeah, they you know? fit beautifully when you yeah. tried them on in the shoe store and you thought these are the best shoes ever and then you go out in them the first time and you're, you've got blisters. Yeah, I have a, you know. a pair of shoes we're having in conversation with at home. <laughs> You know, and the thing of it is, is that, yeah, they've got scales on their legs. Yeah, they're, the scales are tough. And I've seen what it does when you don't take this step. I've actually seen the wearing, and it's it's obviously painful. You can see I'm not deeply into it at all, mm -hmm. right? Then I'm going to take Nurture Seal. Mm -hmm. I've rubbed some Nurture Seal into this. And keep in mind, guys, this is the one and only time you're going to be able to put any on the inside, the part that's going to be against his leg. Mm -hmm. So be a little generous with it. Once I get the grommet through, I squeeze the leather down, right? Now, I don't know how many of you guys have hit on this, how many of you have thought of this, but I squeeze it right down against the grommet. Mm -hmm. right? Remember, this is going to be on the outside, yeah. right? Okay. So I'm pushing this leather right down into there, mm -hmm. right? And then take the other side, it's going to take a little doing. You're going to have to convince it a little bit. The Nurture Seal helps you in this regard, right? And then you get that in there. So what she's going to do is she's going to measure using her grommet, but then she can just cheat it and use the other one to trace the holes. Yeah, okay. and it'll also be a good double check. For That's right, too. it's a good double check. Exactly. Cool. 
Alrighty, so now you're going to cut your little cuffs. Little baby cuffs. So you start like, say that's the line for yeah. the um, thing. You start like... Coming in just a little bit. And again, I'm just barely cutting up into the leather, right? Like that. It might be a millimeter in, give or take. Not but even. certainly not significantly more than. It doesn't need to be more than. Unless we're talking about a great big female goss, a great big goldie, something that you're, you know, you know, he's already got great big anklets on. So cut, of course the cuffs have to be deeper than this, but we're concentrating on, on anklets for a smaller falcon, like mm -hmm. a mid-size, say, falcon. Um, and it's always good to do this sort of thing, guys, when you're not in a rush when you're not <laughs> like us <laughs> well, but seriously it's it's really i gotta it, go to the upfront <laughs> it's like not gonna lie we're, <laughs> we're kind of close <laughs> we we are yeah but not we'll not be, that close no we'll be fine but the thing the point is that that look at do it when you can relax you've got some music on you know there's there's no rush you're not you know your event is two days away and you want him to look sharp you want her to look sharp you're going to Sky trialing, you're going out to okay, so uh, nurture hunt seal or whatever. Next, right? Yeah, nurture seal in it and just be generous. Be I don't generous. Like the feeling of this. <laughs> it's nice. It's just beeswax for heaven's sakes. Okay, so smooth side into them. That's right. And then this will be on the outside, right? That's right. And you're going to be pushing that through. You may, you know, you're going to have to sort of stretch it a little bit. You're going to have to sort of Coaxing. negotiate. Excuse me, mister. Haha, uh -huh, there we go. Right? And then she's going to take and she's going to, you because she's got much longer nails than I, <laughs> she's going to squeeze that leather right down against yeah. the neck of that grunt. So that it's getting in there. Yeah. And where, there's That's right. no excess left over. And, and, and uh, in, interesting cheat here, guys. When you've got that in there like that, right? You got the leather pushed down. Now, you're not messing about when you've actually got somebody who has the bird cast for you and you're about to put these on. This is in place. Mm -hmm. It's in place. It's in there. Right? Already. It's in there. It's not... Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to really turn this into a gong show for this bit to come up. Right? The cute part is once you've got this on, you've got it around their leg. Mm -hmm. Right? And it's you put a this little on. leg! That's a little leg, yes. Yeah. And then you're you're squeezing this right down, right? Mm -hmm. And I even tried. I, I experimented with putting a dot of crazy crazy glue on oh. this, so that it it was also in place. And I've had mixed results. But you mm -hmm. know, maybe some of you guys have got uh, some tips and tricks that you'd like to send our way. So yeah, we can share leave that them around. below. So Jesse's our next. We're yeah. going to next trip. I'm up. We're gonna do a whole bunch more filming. So I'm not sure when this is going up or seeing this, but there's definitely way more to come. We are uploading every single Sunday with a new video. Just production schedule yeah makes the most sense to it's, do that yeah definitely so yeah. you will have seen videos going up on Sundays I will put the links to where I get uh, my leather from yes. and uh, other equipment so that you can source those folks out mm -hmm. um, I've been using the same supplier for the kangaroo leather for for well, years. 15 years now yeah. so you know uh, tried it, and true you know so you don't really need to reinvent the wheel uh, for those of you who are looking for leather for your eagle Mm -hmm. uh, let me know. I believe the same source I get my kangaroo leather from has got uh, it's bison leather, oh. so it's really tough. Wow. Um, I, if, if it's not them, then there's only one other person that I've gotten bison leather for in the past. Mm -hmm. So I'll track that down for you. Yeah. Just let us know. You know, shoot us a note. Uh, shoot me an email yeah. or Leah an yeah. email. Definitely. And, uh, she's we now are... at. Yeah, we are on Instagram, so feel free to wander on down. Yeah. Come on over on Instagram. I love posting yeah. beautiful photos of all of Team Feathers. So if you have any suggestions of where we can go, maybe you're in the British Columbia area where you would like to come and work with us, please let me know yeah. and we'll chat further. But until the next video, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye!